Okay, now welcome to another Infinix video. Today I'm going to do things differently. I'm going to show you all the differences between the Infinix Note 4 and the Infinix Note 5. We all know the strengths of Infinix since the Infinix Hot Note, the Hot 2, the Note 2, the Note 3, and now the Note 4 and Note 5. The major things about the Infinix Note series is the big battery and the big screen. So let's check the smartphones themselves and I'll show you all the differences that I can in this short video. So the first difference, let's look at the back. The Note 4 has a removable back cover and since you can see the battery capacity, I'll tell you that the Note 5 has 4500 mAh capacity battery. The Note 4 is a, twi is a twin micro SIM with the removable battery. So let's check wh what kind of SIM card the Note 5 uses. It doesn't have a removable cover, but the SIM tray is located here. And right away, you can see, I knew it, but you didn't. It uses a nano SIM. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, so that I'm going to switch on both devices at the same time and see which device will boot the fastest. You can see this is an Android One device while this is powered by the XOS version of Android from Infinix. This one is coming a little bit faster. We are done with the... The Infinix Note 5 has come up much faster than the Infinix Note 4, although the time is more or less the same. So let's continue with the differences. The first difference you can see, the Infinix Note 4 has off-screen navigation. The buttons are at the bottom of the screen, while the Note 5 has its navigation. It's an on-screen navigation. The other thing you can notice, the Infinix Note 4 has its fingerprint scanner on the front, the home button also doubles up as the fingerprint scanner. But on the Note 5, it's at the back here. So let's check which one will unlock fa fastest using the fingerprint. First, the Note 5. Faster. Let me see the other one. Now, the difference with the Note 4 is that I have first to press the button and then pl place my fingerprint. Also fast, I can't complain. So the next, let's check the specifications of both devices. And I'm going to go to system, about phone. You can't see from here, but when we check from the Note 4, I can see that it has 2 GB RAM but the Note 5 has 3 GB RAM. The Note 4 has 16 GB storage, while the Note 5 has 32 GB. One minute. Yes, it has 32 GB RAM. When it comes to camera, the Note 4 has a 13 megapixel rear camera, while the Note 5 has a 12 megapixel rear camera. The front camera over here from the Note 4 is an 8 megapixel camera, while the one on the front on the Note 5 is a 16 megapixel camera. Now let's check the screen size. Can you see the difference between the screen sizes? The Note 4 has a 5.7 inch Full HD screen. We measure it from here to here. 
while the Note 5 is a full is a is a full HD 6 inch screen it's also a full screen which means it's an 18 by 9 full screen now the other difference we can see is the the navigation buttons are the opposite of each other when I maybe uh, let's select this tweet over here and this this is the multitasking key but you can see the multitasking key on the other phone is located on the other side this is the back key and here this is the back key so these have, are interchanged and I checked the settings on this phone there is no way I can interchange these two buttons if you remember the Infinix 03 it had another additional button over here that you could hide the navigation buttons but the Note 5 does not have that button so after I updated the version on the Note 4 I noticed they had added something the eye care feature you can see it changes the screen color to be better on your eyes I can also change the level of eye care the intensity this feature also lacks on this Note 5. I didn't see any such feature on this phone. The next difference I saw is when I lock the screen and I try to unlock it. Let me try again. Can you see any difference? The Infinix Note 4 has what is known as magazine screen lock, while the Note 5 does not have the magazine screen lock. Before I updated this phone, uh, I used to swipe the magazine screen lock. I could change by just by swiping, but now this is impossible. I could also change the magazine screen lock and add my own photos, but after the update, this is no longer the case. The other difference is, uh, when you check the top here, the Infinix Note 4 has its headphone jack at the top, while the Infinix Note 5 has its headphone jack at the bottom. Uh, that's quite a good feature. I like this feature. The other difference I noticed is the app drawer. This is arranged in alphabetical order, while this also arranged in alphabetical order, but I missed the alphabet numbers at the right hand corner also I could just search my favorite app like this but here it's impossible now the next thing I noticed which is a huge huge difference is the music app the Infinix Note 5 came with play music as the default music app while the Infinix Note 4 had the music now I downloaded this app recently I sent it from another phone using sender because after the update, Infinix killed the music player app, which is a very bad thing to do. But no worries, the music app I use nowadays is VLC Media. It's quite a, quite a good app. It can play both videos as well as audio. Let's try and clear the catch on this phone, where I'll just open a bunch of apps and then using the multitasking key I'll try and clear the catch you can notice on the note 5 the clear catch is labeled as clear all it's at the top here while on the infinix note 4 it's down here the other app that was killed on the infinix note 4 when it came to the note 5 is the file manager app you notice you used to have the file manager on the Infinix Note 4, but on the Infinix Note 5, it was replaced by Files Go from Android 1. Where I can check my downloads and all other things on the on the Files Go app. But here I still have the File Manager app. Now the best difference I noticed on the Note 5, which I very much like. I hate the Note 4 for this feature. It's the advertisements on the XOS system. This here is not an app on this phone. This is an advertisement. I can't see anything like advertisements on this. 
I also used to have advertisements on the magazine screen lock. Of late, I don't see them. But if I check my my apps, which are arranged in folders here, let me check here. Let's go to social. This here, all these are ads. This is not my work. These are advertisements. And imagine this used to appear inside here. I removed them recently. What I love about the Infinix Note 5, these ads are no longer there. I'll ditch the Note 4 for the Note 5 just because of the ads. And lastly, the physical features. The Note 4 seems much heavier. It's actually, actually heavier than the Infinix Note 5. The camera is located at the center on the Infinix Note 4, but on the Infinix Note 5, it's located at the top right if you check it from behind. Also, uh -huh. you must Infinix put their logos over here. I like this minimalist logo over here, only note. But here I have a lot of things going on. Okay, that's the differences that I could show you between the Infinix Note 4 and the Infinix Note 5. Which one do you like? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.